Hey folks, welcome to the Tide to Your Table. It's a happy time of year. New Jersey Flukes open. Stay tuned. All right, Mike, so we're going to teach you how to, how to fillet a flounder today. So we're always going to start with the white side, okay? It's a thinner side. And then feel right here. You're going to feel there's the stomach area. And then there's the shoulder meat and the rest of the fillet, right? Yep. And I've seen so many people do this, where they just make a cut like this. And I kind of don't like that because you kind of miss some of the shoulder meat. What I like to do is feel where the stomach is, make this initial cut, right? And then I like to come, I call it coming north here, and get all this shoulder meat because it's a lot of good meat you don't want to waste, right? Then what we want to do is, here, why don't you pick, put your finger in there. You're going to feel a rigid line of bones. You feel that? Yeah, I do. I so all we're going to do is stick our knife in and push it through and work our way back to the sp through the spine and get that fillet off. So real carefully, right. we're going to stick it in there, right? Go straight back. Okay, see how that comes off? Yep. And, and go back in. Yeah. I know a guy that can do this in 15 seconds or less, actually. <laughs> believe it or not. Right now, what we want to do, and you see how that all came off? Yes. Yeah, now we want to get there and we're going to cut north seconds. and cut that, that bone, which is the bone, the stomach bone, they call it. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn the fish around. And we're going to do the same thing, right? We're just going to go follow the ridge down. Right? See it? Mm -hmm. Getting this, Jack? Stick the knife in. There. There. And there you have it. Got all that meat off there too. Exactly. You don't have any meat there, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to do is take the feathers off. The feathers are not edible. And it's this piece off to the side here. You guys can see that. So we're just going to cut that off. You use that for bait though? Exactly. So you're learning. Very good. You definitely use it for bait. It makes great strips, great tra uh, teasers. And we'll just take that off. All right? And now I like to cut it in half if it's a real big fish. And then what we want to do is take the skin off. So all we do is, I always get a little piece of paper towel. We'll make an initial cut. And you see how much thinner these are? Then you'll see that the other side is much thicker. That, mess that one up. That's okay, just go back. So just work it forward. Let the knife do the work. And there you have a beautiful fillet, right? Skin out. Now we're gonna find out if your mom actually watches the show, you know how? Because huh. if she starts yelling at me, I was flaying fish in the kitchen, you know she watched the show. <laughs> Alright, then we're gonna do the same to the other side, right? So tell me what we do. Feel for what first? We feel for the the stomach. The stomach, which is right here. And you don't wanna you wanna save a bunch of the meat, so you wanna make a initial cut here. Alright, so let's let's do the shoulder meat first. Right? So we'll cut here, we'll get and that then, shoulder meat. And then you wanna go north. Well, <laughs> that was going south, but yeah. The way it was holding the fish, we'll cut that down, okay? And then the same thing, we're just gonna stick this knife in along the ridge bone, right? All the way back, just work it out, right? Right, see how nice that is? You see all that meat? Yep, all right? the meat got off of there. Right? And then we wanna stick our knife in here, because you're right up against that backbone, and we're gonna cut that stomach bone. Yep. And then we're going to do the same thing. Perfect. Lay it down. Right? Now what do we do? Oh, we take a paper towel and then... Well, first we want to cut the feather a... bones off, right? Yeah, take, cut the feather bones. Because what do we use the feather bones for? For bait. Alright. Save that the for bait. Side. We'll give that to Captain Dan. Yep. And then you want to take... Now if you do want to do the whole thing, right, you get a piece of paper towel. Yep. And you let the knife do the work. You go down. Can you, Get it, the, can you eat the skin or no? You can. Uh, Danny does. Danny likes to eat whole fish. But we're not going to do those kind of recipes with this fish. All right. But you can, but you have to scale it. So yeah. you let the knife do the work. Skin comes off, and you have a beautiful fillet for your dinner table. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now, right. last things last. What do we do with this, Mike? Do we oh, throw no. it out? Don't know. Don't know? Don't know. Okay, so in all the episodes I talk about fish stock or shrimp stock or crab stock or clam stock. In the next episode after this, we're going to teach you how to make fish fumet, otherwise known as fish stock. 
We'll keep it in frozen containers in the refrigerator or the freezer so that when you need it, it's at the ready and you have it available to make any number of dishes that are going to be perfect for your table. So what do you think, Mike? Think, uh, sounds great. Okay. It looks really good. Next time you're going to fillet all the fish, right? All right, yeah. All right, so this has been Chef Mike and our second mate, Mike, with From the Tide to Your Table. Stay safe out there. Practice catch and release and selective harvest. We'll see you in the water soon. Stay tuned.